My dad was a painter. Uh, he painted cars. I grew up in body shops. Uh, I grew up, I was painting cars since I was probably 12 years old. Um, started out buffing the cars, sanding the cars, and then eventually painting them. Um, the hot rods is something that I did whenever I got out of the military. I always loved the hot rods, the old Chevelles, the Camaros. Once I opened up my body shop, I've been in business now for 20 years. I've uh, been very blessed. We've been pretty successful with the shops. So I had an opportunity to come in here and do what I've always loved, which is the hot rods. And the thing I love about it today is you can take things that you imagine and you can interpret things that you're thinking about into the cars, and it's really cool. 25, 30 years ago, if you did something to these cars, people would say, man, you messed that car up. What are you doing? You know, but today, it affords you to be able to, to put your own artistic style into it, your own concepts uh, into these cars, and I think that's a really, really cool thing. The name Hypnotic itself kind of leads you to saying, hey, that's, uh, that's kind of mystic, that's, that's different. And what we wanted to be able to do is take a vehicle, take a car, whether it be a car, a truck, an 18-wheeler, whatever we're customizing it, we wanted someone to be able to look at that car or truck 10 times and see something different every time. And we really wanted it to just, you know, be so eye appealing that you can't help but just continue to look at the car. So if we're in a, a parking lot full of cars, we definitely want our car to stand out, whether it be the stance of the car, whether it be the body lines in the car, whether it's just the paint, the depth of the paint. I'm a painter, that's what I've done my whole life. My calling card is our paintwork, whether it's a bicycle, whether it's a Corvette, or whether it's a Peterbilt truck. I've got to get a feel from the customer what they like, because what I like and what the customer likes could be two different things. So no matter what we do, it's, all, it's always got to be something based around what the customer, and the customer may not have even told me exactly that's what they wanted to do, but just through our conversation, I could find out what they like about car, what they, what, what the, like the wheels, for example. What kind of wheels do you like? What color of paint do you like? What do you like on the interior? Do you like something loud? Do you like something soft? Do you want something subtle? Do you want something that really stands out? So even, even though a customer may not be able to describe to me exactly what they want the car to look like, through our conversation, I think we can take enough from that conversation and build them a really badass car.